I'm ready. Actors, take your places. Background action, ready. Camera, camera rolling. Scene three, take five. And action. Welcome to How Much Do Kids Laugh? I'm Elijah King Esquire. And I'm Michelle Barber. We have some comedians that will say or do some of the funniest things to make kids laugh. The comedian that makes the kids laugh the most will receive $100 in cash. Wow, $100 for the lucky winner? Let's see exactly how much kids laugh. Let's bring our first contestant, I mean our first comedian, Ashley Druin! When I was eight years old, someone brought me to this theater with tons of other kids. I think we were supposed to be watching a play about Peter Pan, I don't know. But I remember strange things happening. It was really weird. For instance, when the kids were flying, the ropes that were holding them, they would fall, well, they would snap, and then the people would break. And they seemed to have an unlimited supplies of understudies, which they would fall too when they took their places. And then the crocodile that chases Captain Hook, it seemed to be a real one, not a fake. And at one point, it actually fell off the stage and crushed a couple of kids in the front row. Yeah, not the best thing. And then they had some understudies come and take their place. And then Wendy, in between scenes, she seemed to get fatter and fatter and fatter until she couldn't even move. They had to cart her off stage. Okay, so you know that scene where Tinkerbell drinks the poison in order to save Peter Pan? Okay, so she drank it, and then Peter Pan turned, the, turned to the audience and said, she's, he said that Tinkerbell was going to die because not enough people believed in fairies. So he told us to clap, like, a lot. So we clapped a lot. My eye clapped so long and hard that my hands started to bleed. And then all of a sudden, Peter Pan turns to the audience and said, that wasn't enough. Tinkerbell's going to die. So then we all started crying, and then Peter Pan, he just stormed off stage and refused to continue the play. So they had to lower the curtains, and the ushers had to take us out of the aisles and into the streets. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure no one was the same after that. It's definitely turned me against theater, and even more damagingly, it warped my total sense of life. I mean, nothing seems worth trying if Tinkerbell's just gonna die. <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, now let's bring our second comedian, Matthew! <laughs> Being a blonde's not that bad. I mean, seriously, I'm like any other person with half a brain. <laughs> So I was driving down the freeway one day when I see a blonde in a cornfield in the, with a rowboat. So I pull over, roll down my window and say, you know, you're the kind of blonde that gives us a bad name. If I could swim, I'd come out there and hit you. <laughs> so I, after that, I continue driving down the road and I get to a river and the bridge is out. And I see a blonde on the other side of the river. So I call over and say, how do you get to the other side? And he replies, you are on the other side. <laughs> Why did I get fired from the M&M factory? Because I kept throwing out all the W's. <laughs> you may notice, after you get to know me a little bit, that whenever it lightnings, I always look up and smile. It's because I think somebody's taking a picture of me. <laughs> and last, before I go, I need to, you guys to help me to learn how to write 11. I don't know which one comes first. <laughs> Oh my goodness, where did they get these comedians from? Now our last comedian of the evening is Gabriel Mora! You know what? Being in middle school would be a lot easier if it weren't for the eighth graders. I mean, don't get me wrong, most of them are fine. But then comes that one that just gets under your skin. And in my case, his name is Valentine. Valentine's a total bully, and he looks like a big piece of broccoli. He's really skinny, with a huge pom-pom on his head. That's his head. Well, anyway, Valentine just can't seem to leave me and my friends alone. Like, just the other day, I was teaching my friend how to moonwalk on the lawn, and she moonwalks right into him. He turns around and goes, Why'd you bump into me? And she looks at him and she goes, My back spasmed? And by the look on his face, we ran. So we were safe that time. But then another time, I was walking to class, and he bumped into my shoulder. So I let out a little, ow. And then he looks at me and he goes, do you want to repeat that? And I, on the inside, I was like, yeah, I would. Ow. But on the outside, I was like, no, sorry, bye. <laughs> so when you go into middle school, be sure to steer clear of the eighth graders. Boy, was they funny. She really made the kids laugh. Yeah, but the kids seem to stop laughing. I guess the prize goes to... Gabriel Mora! Congratulations! Tune in for the next...
next How, How Much Do Kids Laugh? <laughs>